it's common in economic impact and contribution studies to see impacts broken down into the categories of direct, indirect, and induced impacts. Indirect and induced impacts are sometimes combined and reported as secondary or multiplier impacts. Direct impacts follow the immediate action being investigated, such as a policy implementation or a construction activity. Indirect impacts are business related impacts derived from changes in the direct category and represent changes in supplies or services to support the changes at the direct business. Induced impacts are based on changes in household spending from the income derived from direct and indirect employment. Let me give a quick example of how money can flow through the economy looking at an example of hangar construction. Direct employment may be supported by architectural and engineering firms, as well as the firm actually constructing the hangar. Indirect employment can support those services that are needed at the architectural and engineering firms, such as print, digital, and other services, as well as for the construction firm, and this can include equipment and raw material suppliers. The payroll expenditures derived from induced employment will be supported by the direct and indirect employees spending their earnings on dining, entertainment, travel, and other things in the local economy supporting workers in these occupations.